Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the second round Group N match between Sipjin and Ivan Colin. A super exciting Orc Mirror. It might be super exciting, we don't know yet. Um, it is Orcs, as you can see. They've both taken the default paint scheme, the default logo, and um, default cheerleaders. So, very uninspiring, two unpainted teams here. But what we can do, of course, is make them red and blue so we can actually see what the hell's going on. Sipjin is the blue orcs with a troll and three goblins. A uh, couple of guard, a couple of block, mighty blow tackle. Ivan Colin is the more standard, no troll, uh, thrower, four guard, mighty blow tackle, and uh, an apple. So yeah, Ivan Colin with the completely normal team. And surprisingly enough, he's won and Sipjin has lost. So, the, with this being two wins and two losses in this group, Ivan Colin cannot secure his spot with a victory here. However, if he wins and Bright wins, then they will both be two wins and no losses, and Call Troop and Sipjin will both be 0-0-2, so they will then like both win, won't they? So, he's, he's, in a very, he's in a very strong spot here, Ivan Colin. The fact that Bright has also won um, you know, Call Troop has got an outside chance. You never know if Call Troop wins his last two, things can happen. So, you know, Call Troop versus Bright should be a super exciting game. And uh, let me tell you how these guys are qualified. Ivan Colin is Spanish and qualified through the NBB. And Sipjin is French and qualified through Canard WC. So there you go. Sipjin obviously winning the tiss, winning the tiss, winning the kick and choosing to receive. Just blocking directly forward with these guys. A quite anti-blitz setup, which does make the LOS a bit worse, doesn't it? Oh wow! Slamming in the the guard to do a one dice blitz. Oof. Goblin ball carrier picks it up. Troll gets the three D and a removal. Might have been tempted to instantly apple there, but you know the thing is with twelve players you don't have to, right? But turn one K was a very good player to, to apple. Use the blitz on a based guy just to uh, make it safe with block. And does get a stun. I guess it keeps his team compact, doesn't it? Reducing blitzes for the next turn. Here we go, Mighty Blow 2D this time. Gets the full pow. Nothing. Is the other is the other goblin gonna foul? <laughs> Maybe. There is a tackler though, so you know, sticking out the foul might not be the best idea. No, he doesn't foul. Anything can happen. There was there was a replay. I think there was it was like an orc mirror in the first. No, a lizard man mirror. I think wasn't it? I mean, no, no, it was an undead mirror. There was an undead mirror. There was an undead mirror in the first round that was dreading, and it was like an unbelievable game. So, you know, anything can happen. But yeah, orcs are a little bit unexciting. Yeah, the lizard the lizard man game was good. Yeah, the lizard man game was good. And the, the undead game was unbelievable. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, the Lizman game was really good, actually. Yeah. It wasn't just good, it was really good, the Lizman game, yeah. Okay, so brings comes back strongly there. Hello, Christopher B. So I guess we'll see a bit of a switch, but... He's in an awful spot already, Sipchin. Yeah, 
Yeah, swings back to the middle, but... This is like, just tough, isn't it? He's only got one guard over there, his other guard is the other side, like the wrong side. He's got an isolated guard and then the guard are packed in here. So this is uh, very rough. But, gets a knockdown. It's a lot of goblins, yeah, he's got two goblins on the pitch and a goblin in reserve as well. And yeah, he's just dodge this one away and KOs himself. I mean, he could have just left him lying down. But, you know, there you go. Wow, absolutely brutal. Glorious. No, I won't give in until oh. I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Thank you very much, Rainmaker. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Mighty Blow Blitz on this guy. Is it a rush? It is. I kind of hate rushing to Blitz, but there you go. And gets removal, though. Fantastic decision. <laughs> Fantastic decision to rush. I mean, I would have just Blitz this guy, right? I would have just Blitz this guy. It was right there. Um, with Mighty Blow, if I wanted to hit with Mighty Blow. But, I mean, it got in the removal, right? So... It was worth rushing to Blitz with my Ebo. Ah, very good. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I mean, that was, that was. I thought that was a good thing about Super League, right? Getting, getting all the best players together. I know this is the World Cup, but this the the World Cup is like also a community celebration, isn't it? Uh, rather than the 64 best players in the world, whereas. Uh, I think Super League is uh, very high quality, very good to watch. But I mean, this has got a lot of good players as well. You know. There is a lot of good players in the World Cup. And I think, I think honestly, the main... <laughs> there's going to be not as good players normal in the World Cup from the people in the World Cup like compared to their normal level right because they're going to be so nervous and like play off nerves and everything it's like it's there's going to be some bad players just because people are like oh my god it's you know it's such a big game it's so important like as much as some people poo poo the idea it absolutely is uh it's a huge occasion isn't it it's obvi obviously this is like a much bigger occasion than the, than the super league Hey, Rani, thanks. Thanks. No, it's absolutely not crystal clear, no. No. Yeah, there's so many. It's, it's weird how there's always so many options, and then, you know, as Elliot likes to say, maybe, <laughs> maybe it is just about banging as much as possible, you know. Um, there is a lot to be said for banging, so maybe that's, that is a bit, of, it is a bit as, maybe it's as simple as just banging as much as possible, and all these things that we talk about, all the different pros and cons, maybe, maybe that isn't as important as the maxing the banging, but there we go, as we see there, there's a removal, Apple comes in on the turn 5 KO, which isn't a super early KO, uh, but, you know, it's a big player, it would be terrible if he failed to get it to come back. Plus he might think he can stop this score, in which case if he only gets one one roll at it, uh, that's pretty bad, isn't it, for a guard big one, so. Uh, wait, are we gonna hit the ball here, aren't we? Isn't it? Can't this reach? One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush, so it's a dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six, rush. A dodge and a rush to two dice the ball with block. Um. We might take this. We might take this. Might not as well, right? Right? He can, he can, he can just run, and you can just bl you can just blitz, and then like st stand in front. It's not it's not necessary to go for the ball, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, do go for it. 
Oh wait, it's just a double rush. I'm an idiot. I, I literally counted the squares and thought it was it had to be a dodge. But then a dodge and a rush wouldn't make any sense, would it? Okay. Errata, errata, it was a double rush. In that case, you're always going for a double rush blitz, right? And uh, puts in a reroll on the 2D block and a reroll on this rush to base, which I'm not sure that was required, right? I'm not sure that was required. You could have just come in here. I kind of feel that there is good enough, but I did go for that extra rush, which puts him down to one reroll. But I mean, that's the thing, right? It's like it's a little bit stronger, so maybe maybe it is stronger enough to put in a reroll when there's only a few turns left. And the pow. Oh, got a reroll. This blockless 1D. It's a Kaz. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Blockless 1D OP. And then that's a block full 1D and it's a double skull. And that is... Do you know what? Now this, this position is going to get him a surf. No, we might get him a surf anyway, to be fair. No, he's not. He's just blocking with block. Fair enough. Completely reasonable. To make the safe choice. Yeah, I like I do wonder if the slightly like if if all of the slightly higher risk, high reward things are just wrong <laughs> and it's just always minimized risk all the time, always do safe moves always like do the safe safest play like pretty much all of the time but then that's not true is it because sometimes you have to go for things i don't know it's hard to say sometimes you just have to like the odds are the odds right so you can't hope your opponent like you rolling a six is better than hoping your opponent rolls a one right because they re-roll if they roll a 1, you re-roll if you don't get a 6. So your 6 is like a 30% chance, and their 1 is a 3% chance. So you're definitely better off trying to roll a 6 than hoping your opponent rolls a 1. Like, it's it's hugely more likely that you roll a 6. So... Yeah, safe players can still be bad, yeah. Yeah. I think obvious mistakes is maybe is better than bad play. I mean, obviously, if you never make bad plays, you'll win. <laughs> but no, but nobody can not make bad plays. Whereas people could maybe make a lot less mistakes. Obviously, maybe it's obviously bad plays. If you just don't make obviously bad plays ever, you'd probably be really good. <laughs> there was a thing that, yeah, what's he called? Um, Dio said, if you, once you made a mistake, if you never made that mistake again, you'd quickly become one of the best players in the world. I was like, no, you'd be the best in the world by a mile, <laughs> wouldn't you, if you just never made mistakes? <laughs> yeah, four, four players removed for the Blue Orcs. It's a 1D power here, but... Again, it's not enough, right? It's not enough because... So this is like a good example of why that's just not good enough. Because he's just got all the three plus. Oh, no, he doesn't because he's going to throw him. Okay, well, throwing him in was pretty great, actually. But he doesn't even have to make a three plus. He's just got to blitz him, right? But even if he had to make a three plus... Like, if it was, you know, like one dice... Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just not good enough, right? Even if it was, even if he had a dodge, but he's getting a two dice in with a reroll. So, like, it's basically guaranteed that this does nothing. I was basically guaranteed to do nothing. So, like, a dodge into an uphill is way better. Way, like, it's so much better to uphill that. Even though it might look stupid, right? But a, a five plus and then a double five plus, three fives in a row, right, is one in 27. But... His player was hope he doesn't roll a 1 in 12, 9, 6. <laughs> and so you trying to roll a 1 in 27 is way better than hoping your opponent 
doesn't you know hope, hoping your opponent rolls a one in 12 9 six anyway Ivan Cullen gets the touchdown defensive touchdown there he is now down to 10 players on offense up against 10 but there's two goblins on the field still uh, they've both down a guard biggin a lineman but they're down a blitzer as well yeah sitchin the blue orcs <laughs> I always hate running too many people back. I always hate this. It's just encouraging pressure. Yes, you've got more people back to deal with it when it comes, but you're just guaranteeing it coming now. Whereas if he if he kept stuff up here, maybe he doesn't break through. Maybe he can react to what does break through. Whereas now it's just these are all coming. Like, do you know what I mean? Like they're just you're just telling them. You're just telling them to come and come and get you. Which You can be my wingman anytime. Oh god, do you know what it might be oh, against our team You can be mine. Okay, wow, thank you very much, Spoke Bearer. Um so Evil Moose, very clever. Yeah, that might actually just be against our team. I didn't I, I disregard I mean to be fair, right, the 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 uh, the troll was on the LOS in contact with three players. So he was unlikely to have the chance until he got blocked away and now was able to do it. But that is a good point. Yeah, that would have helped a little bit of versus throw a team there. Um, and maybe that is something to think about sometimes. There's a niche case. I would have definitely blitzed this guy and tried to come through, but I don't know. Hello, ta 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 ta, be Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you ever want me to stop doing that, I will. <laughs> but I find it impossible to resist. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. You see, the reason I said it is because you see people do this all the time, right? You see people do this all the time, regardless of throw teammate. That's why I mentioned it. And it's just like, look how much it's guaranteed all of this pressure, right? We can block here and get two more players down as well. And the blitzer as well. Like, I actually don't like blitzing into the cage this turn. Because you could have blocked here and then blitzed this guy and everything could have come down. They could have just, they could, everything could have been here. Um, yeah. Mildly insulting. It's not meant insultingly. I love you guys. So, um, you know. But by all means, if uh, if it, if anybody is uh, properly insulted, just let me know and I'll stop. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put it to the last one. Yep. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, and this is the problem now, right? Like, now he's got to try and reconnect with these frontline guys somehow. Somehow. How does he get these guys back involved? They all get knocked over, right? <laughs> now they just, all four of these can get knocked over next turn. And then this guy can get knocked over and everything gets based. And he invited it all. He could have just kept a high line and tried to react to things. But he basically guaranteed this happening. Uh, I'm calling, which I don't think is a great thing to guarantee happening. Oh, removal. Ball based. Flip me. Oh, is that the troll? It should, definitely should have done the troll last, right? Definitely should have hit everything. Except the troll. That does let him get the mighty blow guy out of there. <laughs> Blitzes. 
That's just the goblin. Blocks him. Oh my god. I mean, this is a disaster for Iron Colin. Oh, yeah, okay, he has to dodge him. I mean, he's very lucky <laughs> that Sipchin has these bloody goblins instead of real players. Still, this is going to be like a 3 plus to 2 dice the ball, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so... Maybe a dodge, maybe a rush. No, he's not one for the ball. That's fair enough, right? Time... So the thing is, though, by, by doing this, he's trying to draw, right? Like, this is... I think this is right, going for the draw. He could have gone for the win, but, I mean... It's, it's pretty unlikely, isn't it? So I think... I think just taking your time and kind of you know considering yourself inevitable to win this is this is what i did in my game versus trip right i just thought oh my god with this kick i've just won um so i i felt under no pressure to like make any kind of crazy moves to try and hit, hit the ball or anything i'll just play super safe and eventually eventually my chance will come and i can take it so i guess that's how uh, Sipjin is looking at this. But I mean, this is really terrifying for Ivan Colin. <laughs> He's got to dodge this big one, yeah. Honestly, I, w I think I would have re rolled that. Yeah, he did re roll it, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that play. This is, this is terrifying. Oh, he, re he didn't re-roll it. Mm. He's got four re-rolls and four turns. I think I would have re -roll. Oh, he's going to just hit the ball in two dice anyway. Okay, well, fair enough. I somehow missed the fact that he had a big and free. Oh, that goblin basing both of them is incredible. Picks it up. Scores. So it does go for the win. Or the loss is the problem, isn't it? So there was an argument for just uh, taking the draw, but obviously after losing his first game, um, he wants to push for the win. Oh, wow. So that, now this score goes from a three-turn to a two-turn for Ivan Colin. Don't bite a grove. Why I like that? The problem is, like, the, or the the Blue Orcs going for the win is they haven't got many players themselves, right? They've still got two out. So it's actually 11 Orcs versus... 10. Yeah, they actually, the Red Orcs are men up now. So, yeah, I, I didn't really like going for the win there. But, I mean, I understand, right, after losing your first game, kind of feel that you have to go for the win in a way. But maybe do it in a game where you like didn't fail on offense, right? Like you know, wait for your third game, win your third game, and then try and go through with a win or loss and a draw. I don't know. It depends. Hard, hard to judge, isn't it? In the in the heat of the moment, and you know, who knows how frayed their nerves are, how much time bank they've used, all these kinds of things. There always seems to be a lot of AV8 orcs because at the end of the day, you know, dice happen and AV is probably one of like the stats that can go wrong, right? Like strength four is always strength four if it's on the pitch. Edge two plus is always edge two plus if it's on the pitch. Whereas, um, okay, here we go. Turn sixteen. This is. Very difficult for Ivan Colin. Is it? No, it's not. He can fully clear the ball. He doesn't. Something it's got a tackles on. But it means he's got he's got a free way, he's got a three plus to score. If he gets it away, he's just gonna lob it, long bomb it. Six plus pass. No, he passes to this guy, who catches it, and goes for the handoff. Makes the handoff. 
makes the dodge. Oh, he didn't set up a goblin! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine your opponent runs in <laughs> and you see you see the goblin that you never set up. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He's gonna be good, hasn't he? Sitting then, flip me. <laughs> oh dear me! Imagine that. Imagine that, that goblin just, <laughs> he just looks at the goblin as he goes in. <laughs> Flip me. Um, wait. Okay, so he's got him. Oh, I went behind him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It wasn't in range anyway. Probably should have had it one behind, but it went behind him, so no one turn. Unfortunately, but yeah, what an incredible... What an incredible end to the match. I, Ivan Cole and rolling all of the dice for that quick score. And yeah, you know, maybe Sipjin should have just taken the draw. Um, he was absolutely dominant on defense. He's throwing the goblin anyway. <laughs> he hit this guy on the... Uh, on the line, he went for the full line across. That's, that's what Yudlegar thinks is the best defense against throw teammate. Um, so there you go, Ivan Colin picks up the win. And if we look at the table as it was, with two losses, that means Sipjin is definitely eliminated. A draw would have kept him alive, but it's two losses, he's definitely out. Ivan Colin is not necessarily through with two wins. Because we could have stuff like um, Cold Troop wins his last two, Bright loses one and wins the other, and Ivan Colin loses his last game. So even with two wins, he's not guaranteed. But he's obviously on the verge of qualifying. Um, so congratulations to Ivan Colin. Commiserations to Sipjin. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.